what we have is a two-set Venn diagram in this question and we're asked about the cardinality of two different sets. Part A, we like to find the cardinality of A complement intersect B complement. So we have A complement and we're going to intersect that with B complement. What I find helpful is to label the regions. Um, in a two-set Venn diagram there are four different regions. We have region 1 who is A only, region 2 who is the intersection, region 3 who is, who is B only, and region 4 who is outside of all the sets A and B. Now this U it stands for universal set. It's not to say that the U is region 4. No, the universal set is all parts of the Venn diagram itself. The universal set is everything. And so don't say that that U is R4 um, or you know the number outside of everything is in U. All of it is U, um, the universal set. That's why I like to sometimes write it up in a corner like this. So maybe that might be reinforced. Anyway, so what doing the regions um, does for you is uh, it can turn this question just into as if you knew the listing of what the uh, the elements of these sets were. Um, so what you do is you then say which regions go for each part of the left and right hand side of this statement. So A complement, that means what is outside of A. And so outside of A is represented by regions 3 and 4. Okay. Uh, outside of B is represented by regions 1 and 4. This symbol, upside down U, means intersection. And what I want you to think about it of it the action that you take is that you look for the overlap between the left and the right. So on my left I have region 3 and 4, on my right I have region 1 and 4, and I'm looking for overlap. And the overlap would be the answer. The overlap is going to be region 4. Now this question is asking for the cardinality, like how many elements are in that part of the Venn diagram, it turns out that in this particular combination here, the number zero is going to be how many are outside of both sets. Region four is made up, it has a cardinality of zero. Okay, and then when it comes to um, part B, we have the same two sets but now a different symbol in between and so we'll label it a little quicker this time we have uh, region 3 and region 4 region 1 and region 4 and this time the symbol is union and what that is action wise is that it is the joining of those two sets. So we're going to join these together. That's what a union does. So join means take everyone that's there. If, if it's there twice, just take it once. And so the joining of these two sets is represented by region 1, region 3, and region 4. It doesn't matter the order that you put them in. And so the, these three regions together represent the union. Uh, region 1 has uh, 5 in it, and Region 3 has uh, 1 in it. Region 4 happens to have none in it. The answer would be the cardinality of those three together is 6. So here's your answer to Part A, and uh, here is your answer to Part B. Finding the cardinality of sets based off of uh, Venn diagram where you have the cardinality of each individual part. Okay, great.